Good evening guys, it's 5.40 p.m. So let me walk you through today's uh, pre-market notes. It's April 18th, 2022. So overall, so today's notes were clear. So overall, ES had established a big balance, you know, since April. So that's the, since January. So that's a bigger statement, right? Then today, Globex high, 4,400 is very important. So above reactionary bias may, be, may become active, right? and then same time below sellers are also active right so i'm just saying globex high whatever it is at that time to 4400 is like upper boundary you know for buyers to take out and for sellers to defend right and you can see it pretty much today price stayed below this you know multiple attempts to break above fail break above fail you know and then uh, below 4375 more sellers will be active right so i gave you specific level 4375 now, if you draw a line here, you will see it. The, the entire buying that came from this area, pretty much entire day, you know. And then yes, it poked below to up to 43.64. But if you look at very carefully, it was actually, it was a false, false breakdown below 75. Actually, it was 75 is the key level and the 44 is a key level today and that's why the price basically stayed within those range today 64 that was the low of the day today that was also our level 4364 there was a single line there you know so levels are very very good today you know our price behaved that way uh, and then that's pretty much it today i was hoping that price will gap down below this and it will remain below for sellers instead it gap right at that point and it just stayed within a fixed range, you know. So something was off today. So one way or other way, price is going to break out of today's range, either up or up, upwards or downwards, you know. Uh, and then uh, NQ uh, sellers below 14 to 44, and aggressively below uh, is it 244? Below 14,046, right? And super aggressive is below today's Globex high. So that's pretty much it for NQ, you know. So I'm only talking about sellers here for NQ because sellers are in control below this, below this, and super aggressively below Globex high. And NQ, you can take reactionary longs, but as we discussed in the pre market notes, that below 992, uh, uh, you are better off sticking with shorts, and especially if price goes below 876, right? That is what I said in Discord earlier also. And eventually, this is what the target for sellers. If price stays below 876, which price did not do it actually, you know, it went below it, but it's keep coming back up, you know. So 876 is very important. Russell, same thing, 2003, 1985. That is what Russell did pretty much today, 03 to 1985. That's where Russell also did a ping pong similar to ES and NQ because this two couldn't go anywhere. So Russell did the same thing. Dow, same damn thing, 450. At the end, it came back there and closed right at the 450. You can read through all these things, you know, the importance of 450 and all these things. Gold, uh, 82, right, and then 2000. That is what gold did today. So gold also did not achieve anything today. Crude also did thing, same thing today. It just held this area. Yes, it went above a little bit, but then pretty much, you know, it went came down from there, and then it, it basically hovered around that area. So none of the market today did anything so they are all waiting for something you know i have no clue but we'll see more uh, tomorrow you know so with that ideally there is no trade here you know just it's not after the fact i'm saying you know so in pre market we discuss it uh, that if price goes above this area 876 you know then there is no trade you know then day is screwed up if price goes above 75 76 which is around 930 which is right here you know price was actually above it right so i said if it goes above this in the pre-market voice and in q above 876 most likely the day is screwed up and then 992 you know and then there was another level here 967 you know so it's just because i suffered the lines you know while i was you know watching it in during intraday so but anyway, uh, it's that was we discussed that if it goes above it, you know, day is screwed up. 
pretty much because overall what we discuss in pre-market is we are going to favor sellers below 75-72 no? 76-72 in yes above this two area can act as a resistance but there is no guarantee whether they will stop the sellers you know or stop the buyers because how price is coming upward that is important if it is getting exhausted yes you can short it otherwise don't bother at the same time if your NQ is trading above 876 you know or 930 don't bother you know and then you can see it open drive up like this right I was watching these things that hey buyers are in control we were talking about the pullbacks that now it should hold this that you know all this thing uh, but then then I also took the short here see here right here I took the short and then because we were watching in the of the open yes I cannot take a short because it just you know it's like a open drive up a from started from 76 area so yes I knew buyers are there NQ I had a luxury till 992 you know, or even 930 so till then buyers are not active that's why I took this short on the way down and then you know I took a profit here half of it half I put a break even and then damn thing just reversed at that point I know the day is screwed up the, because the longs are looking like buyers are active but I didn't want to go long as long as it is staying below this and you know all these things and I didn't see any good strength later on in internals when price made, made a new high here for the day these internals were you know diverging you know it was a very city divergence same thing here right so I didn't need I didn't see any enough strength here while NQ made a new high for the day ES was still uh, at morning high right so something was off so actually this was this could have been a short too right here right but considering NQ making a new high you do not want to take short in yes right but still we discuss in discord that if someone wants to take a short at 44.01.04 area see because it's a bold area and price is exhausted straight into it internals are diverging if someone wants to take a short they can take a short but in that case the stop has to be above 4406 that is what I said in this call I did not take it but actually I gave them an option also if someone wants to do it you know but considering this much bias you know all this thing back and forth I didn't want to short it because I know the day is screwed up now you know either way I rather wait for a confirmation than you know trying to be hero right here shorting it you know so uh, because of NQ otherwise I would have shorted it and then NQ came down here came back up right so uh, here NQ had a chance to go higher you know it failed and then came back down and then came back up at the time NQ is making also like second test of this 992 the divergence was still there ES was also now making this the test of this again right so both were in sync at that point so I took a chance at 992 you know to, to, to took a shot I saw a weakness here a little bit you know but my target was not like below my target was right here you know like second test of this low you know so I held it till here and then I build up right then literally price went down right at this point all I was looking for in this code we were discussing if it goes below at 76 yes you can short and we discuss about the these shorts right the potential of this kind of shorts right I'm not going to discuss everything here but in this code we, we talked about it so this were those two were the shorts you know right there and also this morning low below a 25 when price went through it this was a short also here right now dream numbers are the dotted lines you can see the dream numbers once again today you know so today dream number was not we are not supposed to go long because of the contextual sellers being active but you can see the power of dream number even though contextually sellers were active dream number held to the dot here you know to the T almost and then you can see it, it bumps the dream numbers are very very powerful you know so I choose to take a profit here at the dream number instead of taking a long here you know and these are the pending targets I gave but ultimately you know price just did a back and forth at that point the moment it bounced above this back above 25 no more trading ideally because now you know it's a range bound market same thing with NQ ES also when it broke below this uh, 76 I said 80 it has to hold below 80 it is a line in sand and for NQ is 876 right so when price bounced here at 80 this was a short you know uh, this one 
and then here also you can take a breakdown shot you know which did not work out and then here also another shot you can take you know it's all lining up with NQ and then then there is no trading ideally you know till 3 o'clock but then if you are trading it when you see this balance breakdown intraday this shot you can take it you know, and here also you can take this shot you know and then no longs you know it's just a shorts and then again price reversed as usual you know because here he was still range bound see price was range bound everything was range bound today you know so there is really nothing going on today pretty much it's just a couple of halgos they just played back and forth you know and that be all for today